have you ever wondered how you can add a little bit more grittiness, a little bit more of an analog rough sound to your digital uh, sounds? Maybe you work inside the box, maybe even outside the box with some analog gear, but maybe you still want to add a little bit more grit, a little bit more roughness, um, a little bit, yeah, kind of an analog touch. And uh, yeah, I want to share some plugins that I recently found, that I recently testing, experimenting with, and I really like and love. And they can really mess up your sound, make it really gritty, rough sounding if you want. And the best thing is, they are all free. So if this sounds good to you, let's jump right in. But before we do so, I quickly want to mention something else which is free, which is my softbot snappy Romanimal Ableton Live kick template that you can drag and drop into your Ableton Live session. It's Max for Live device based on Ableton Live. But, um, you know, I added some dials, some layers to it, so you can really come up with your very own kick and adding more stuff to it. So it fits your needs, it fits your taste, whether it's um, punji, more you know, laid back, more deep, more, more longer maybe, or even shorter, whatever you like. You can even dial in the, the pitch, whatever you want, um, so it fits to the rest of your track. If you want that, go and download it for free on this link, and you get it shipped to your inbox. Now let's jump over to this week's video. I hope you enjoy it. Again, freeware tools to add rougher analog sounding sound to your uh, micro house tracks. Especially, I would say this works for darker vibish, more minimal tracks. So yeah, let's jump right in. Whew, I ate too much, my friend. Okay, so for this week's video, I want to share some freeware plugins that I think um, are great to put either on the master channel or maybe even on individual tracks, you know. To get a little bit more of a rough rough maybe analog sound if you like to put it that way and i think it works great for darker vibe tracks maybe or yeah basically for any kind of sound whenever you want a little bit of a rougher style so let's have a quick listen here This is um, the processing here on the master channel and um, yeah, those are all freeware plugins that I show you in a minute, the processing and if you wonder what this thing is here, it's a Max for Life device that you can put um, before and after your, your processing and it level match um, the sound you know because oftentimes if we put a, a compressor or whatever on on a sound or on a channel um, oftentimes the sound gets louder and with this little tool here we can volume compensate it so we don't get uh, fooled by the loudness because our brain always thinks louder sounds better right that's why i put this volume compensator between the processing so yeah let's have a quick a b here so you get the reference quite a drastic processing I would say um, maybe you like it maybe you don't you know maybe it's too much I honestly don't know mm. yeah I really don't know but I like it I have to say because it's really rough sounding it's it's yeah gritty and I like gritty stuff you know I really like gritty stuff it wasn't always that way I polished shit like crazy but uh, at the moment I love gritty 
rough stuff, you know, that isn't looking or sounding perfect, you know. And I would say especially Raw Minimal is, is kind of a Wild West um, in a technical manner. There needs to be a certain balance, I would say, so it sounds good in on a variety of different sound systems, playback systems in the club, maybe on headphones, um, whatever, you know. But um, yeah, this here is more about Sonic, Sonic uh, stuff, you know, um, how to get a little bit more analog touch to your uh, tracks if you like with freeware tools that are not stock plugins. Um, so yeah, let's run through them. So first thing I want to mention really, if you don't have it, I would highly recommend downloading Volume Compensator. Show you that quickly. You can download this for free on the Max for Life page. Just uh, search for Volume Compensator, um, and then you can download it for free, or you can also pay or donate something. You know, because it's a great tool, I would say. So yeah, just a little note here. And I actually made a made a video in the past about this tool. Um, yeah, maybe I will link that. Now let's get down to business here. Let's talk about the processing here. So the first tool I was using um, is this tube saturator, uh, which emulates a tube, you know. I think it's a pre-amplifier or something. I really like it because it it's really basic, you know. But in my opinion, it sounds really great. Without it. Gives instantly something, you know. I don't know what it is exactly. Some kind of noise maybe even. I don't know. course it gives the impression because I boosted the bass it gives a little bit of the impression that it sounds more mm, fatter you know but let's go all to zero here with the bass with the mids and with the treble and just play a little bit with the drive knob here so we get the right just with the drive knob we can get really a lot out of this uh, tool here. That's just for the sake of showing you this, <coughs> let's drive it nuts. You heard, you heard that right, so I would close my eyes now and then uh, just, just dial it in how much I would love it to yeah process it <coughs> and that's how I would do it just listening let your gut telling you your gut feeling what feels right you know and your ears of course Let's check the fat. Man, that makes that shit really fat. EQ off. The mids. If we add too many mids, it can get a little bit boxy sounding. Sometimes I take out, sometimes I add. So yeah, that's the first plugin. Let's make a quick AB again.
so far so good I would say now the second tool is from uh, a company called analog obsession and they have lots of freeware tools it just looks amazing I mean look at that I love how it looks honestly and what I like about this this is basically a compressor right um, and the thing is I really like that we can cut the lows out of the processing right so because the the lows often takes up a lot of energy from the compression right can show you this you see here the needle right that's because of the low end and also listen to it it jumps get, we get this pumping if you like that you know you can do whatever the fuck you want you know if you like it just do it you know I don't like it that much but sometimes it can be good you know for a little bit pumping maybe it can even add some groove there's no right or wrong you know especially not in this genre you can do whatever you want I encourage you but now if I cut out the low frequencies we get rid of this pumping more and more because the low end is cut out which takes up a lot of energy right Listen, just look at the needle right you can also hear it Also with those dials I often try to really close my eyes and and uh, just dial until it feels kind of right you know sometimes it's really hard to to get to that point because oftentimes I watch tons of mixing tutorials and whatnot and it's it, to me it always looked like or sounded like a lot of mumbo jumbo stuff you know they dial something and they tell you, okay, can you hear that little sparkle here and there? And I just thought, okay, what, what are you fucking talking about? You know what I mean? And for that reason, I close my eyes, I dial, and um, sometimes I, I have the feeling something changes and, I'm really don't, and I really don't know if it's true or not, you know? Let's mute that quickly. I have the feeling maybe it sounds a little bit more together. That's all the mumbo jumbo talk, right? But uh, try to listen to it, especially the kick, maybe. Sounds a little bit more like a package, you know, rather than an open space, kind of, if I would need to describe it. So this is number one, tool tube saturator. Um, I'll link the tools below this video. The second thing is uh, compressor Yala, Yala, oh, I hope I pronounced it correctly, from Analog Obsession Freeware Tool. Just Google it. Then the third one is Tracks, also from, from the same company, Analog Obsession, and this is actually a transient designer. Now, would I recommend it on the Master Channel? Pff, I don't know, I just experimented a little bit. Maybe it's better to use on drums and whatnot, but maybe also on the Master Channel, you know. I found maybe you get some more groove out of it. Let's mute that quickly. really can shape the sound right the overall 
sound if you like. We have some pumping again. That's crazy. Obviously, I wouldn't use it now right on the master channel like this, but just imagine you could add this to any kind of sound, maybe even some textures and, and um, drum loops and whatnot, right? and shape the sound a little bit, the groove, rather than using a compressor or whatnot, you know. Get out. Is it better? Is it worse? Honestly, um, to me it's more a question, do I like it or do I don't, don't like it, you know? I think it's the wrong question to ask if, is it right or is it wrong, you know? It's better to ask yourself, is it, do I like the result or uh, is it not what I want, you know? Simple as that. If you like it, go with it. If you don't like it, leave it. Simple as that. No rocket science, bro. After feeling the heads are pumping a little bit more, grooving a little bit more, just with this little tool here. Listen again. Try to focus on the on the top end maybe a little bit. So yeah, this is the third tool called Tracks uh, Transient Designer from Analog Obsession. <coughs> And last but not least, uh, SGA, uh, don't even ask me, but it's a freeware tool. Um, this adds a lot, I would say, to the sound. Uh, don't even try to switch this to high because of my MacBook, even it, it's already at 50%. Anyway, um, basically this is a saturation tool with an EQ. We can add bass and we can run it in stereo or mono. Oversampling four times. I think this is just a better quality, you know. And then uh, we have basically we can distort it, you know, like this saturator here. But it's just another one. Let's have a listen. Sorry. Again, trying it to penetrate it a little bit. certainly does something to the sound I would say um, just experiment I really love this saturator 
and this tube saturate because if you look at it it's very simple right not that many dials and whatnot just you know get down get shit down that's why I love simple tools and let's have a quick a, a B again um, from this uh, whole processing here versus non-processing right we can certainly do some more stuff with EQing and whatnot cleaning out but just that you get an idea maybe some inspiration um, what you possibly could run on on your master channel or even on individual tra tracks you know yeah test it out especially the analog obsession stuff is also great but also this tube saturator SGA really great tool for free again um, I link the stuff below this video. I hope I don't forget it. So yeah, thanks. Hope this was helpful. Hope this was fun and inspiring. Thanks. Hope to see you next week. Cheers. Bye-bye.